Oh my gosh. You guys been some bad, bad iguanas. Special shout outs to FX Airgun and Paramount Air. Oh my god. Hyper orange. Oh. Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Six foot. Flashing him, and he's like, Oh, what's up now? Literally jumped out of the bush to go see what you know, put the alpha and claim territory. Like, Wait a second, he's like, You're my opponent. Look at the other one, he's going away. Like, Damn, I didn't expect him to get that mad, you know, for that alpha. Yep, that's it right there. Silly iguanas, he's right there on that branch, and just a head dove right into the water, came up on land. Yep, it scared the other iguanas away. Hey, good morning, Roger the Iguana Man here, and we are back doing some more iguana removal. We're in December here in Florida, and the weather has been insane, man. It's been in the mid 80s throughout the day, but at night it's getting into that 60s, so you can tell we're gonna have some naughty, naughty weather coming through. Speaking of naughty, naughty weather, there's been some silly, silly, naughty iguanas out basking and breeding. And today we are gonna see if we can catch them. There's an alpha. That's baby Godzilla. his head but not his jaws. Hold on, there's his buddy right there. Silly Iguana. Wow. He's seen us try to catch his buddy, but he never learned his lesson. Spicy, it's spicy. Look at his buddy right there. Man, he's big. Dude, that means there's gotta be some giants out today. Let's go ahead and bag the first iguana in the bag. Here we go right there. More fighting iguanas. Pull this buddy, let's go out there. Let's see if we can euthanize that orange one. Oh my. <laughs> Just grab his back legs and his tail. Grab his tail. I think he might be done. Yep. Man. Silly iguana there. He didn't learn, right? Not he wanted to be dominant. And he didn't know that there's other dominant creatures out here besides him. Another one in the bag. Wild, bro. Yellow iguana. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Silly, silly. You see Hooper? Less than some Ooh. Dang, look at that. He only got one claw on that. 
on that last uh, foot. Just toss him over. Toss him over. You're all right. Nice female. Full of eggs in the back. Dragons. We've got an orange one right here that we can pick out. Hence the breeding season. Nice size alpha. Vasily Iguana. Never made it. Never got a chance. Try to get in the water. Yep, you wanted to. All right. He's bagged and tagged. Stay tuned. We've got more iguana action coming soon. There we have it. They're starting to come back, guys. Those burrowing owls that were being affected by those bad iguanas. Now that we removed the iguanas, the owls are back home. Hey, Mr. Owl. No, but seriously, guys, it's been insane out here, and it looks like we are wrapping up this removal. We removed a lot of iguanas from these trees, but now we know that owls are back here, and the iguanas are gone. So, it feel really good, um, you know, for us to be able to remove the invasives, let the natives come back to their natural environment. Look at that right there. And they're gonna get a perimeter around that owl, but you can see this chilling, he's peeking out probably getting ready to go hunting and that is awesome news but back over here we did set some traps and i think we got a silly iguana caught up let's go see if we can back oh what the we got two there's two of them are you serial i two. thought it was only one yeah Two silly iguanas got trapped. Wow. Yeah, there go those little rascals right there. And as you guys see from the photo, they legit climb up this, and then I think they jump from there, or they jump around there, and then they, they get there, and then they try to go inside that hole right there. So, that's why we're putting the traps here. As you guys can see, we got two. We're gonna set two uh, some more traps up there and see if any more iguanas come out. So we got reports of them on top of the roof. We already wrapped the trees and closed the holes, but we still... Ninja! Good shot! Is they're going through these gutters right here, and they're going on top of the roof. Yeah, that was the one. 
There's two. No, look, there's two right there. Well, there's two different ones. Oh my gosh. You guys been some silly, silly iguanas. Bang. Bang. Look at that clean headshot. We just slayed this young baby alpha, right? So you look at this. This would be a normal sized animal to any human. Any human. But then you take it up a notch. Because this thing, <laughs> my goodness gracious. Guys, look at this. And then look at the size of this. Holy smokes. This is the type of animals no that are running around rampant in your backyards, killing all your flowers, fruits, and vegetables. So look at this real quick. So you're saying they're green and then they turn into that? Yes. And then after All that green, like small green, greener than the leaves on the trees. Then they go up one more level and turn a little slight orange, a little slap of purple. And then they turn out to be this Velociraptor, dude. This is a six foot <laughs> dragon. Dude, I am 5'11". Dude, this is insane. There guys, you guys dealing with any iguana issues, me and the iguana ninja will be more than happy to come out there and assist you with your iguana problem. got open. You the see iguana it? is over here, yeah. I'm gonna move this battery real quick, Ninja. Get ready to grab. Here, put that, you wanna put that thing up? Yeah. It's definitely in there, I've seen the head. Yeah, but this battery is stuck. Yeah. It's like bolted in or something. Straight. So yeah, look, so there's a gap on the bottom, so they're just climbing in here. Come back, we will. I got it. We're gonna just do our last minute little route. There might have been one in a hole or something. We're just gonna go check out. Yeah, you see Is that the head right there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Crazy how they just hide by holes like that. You know? Flipped them. Silly iguana. This is what we're dealing with right here, guys. Look at that. And that's the one that we said, Ninja, that it, something was making new prints. Yeah. Look at that right there. Caught that silly iguana red-handed. You can see right here, this big mound. Could have been an owl's hole and decided that she wanted to dig more and take this over. There's not too much information of what exactly happens underground. Good customer here. It's like our fourth time here. We've done a lot. But Ninja said it too. He's like, yo, before we leave, let's check those holes. Because just as we passed there, there was nothing there. Guess yeah. what? Five minutes later, we left, came back. She was there. Just sitting right outside that hole. Yeah. <clears throat> Ninja Man has spotted something, so you know we had to stop the truck real quick. Oh, yeah. Spider webs. Thank you. Yep, one and done, coach. That's a plump one, bro. Look how plump it is. Yep, super plump. She was eating good. She's been eating super good. Oh my gosh. Getting those eggs nice and ready. The thing is deep, dude. I can only imagine what creatures live in there, Ninja. Possum, raccoon. Iguana. Oh yeah, where are the young alphas? Yeah, you see them right there? Look, yes. right there. Yeah, one on that, that one, and then there's the small green one right there on the one in the sun. Good shot. One and done. So, that's a good shot. That's a great shot, called it. Two of them in the back. Guys are claiming this tree, who knows what they were thinking. Uh, These iguanas got nothing on me. Yep. Let's bag them and tag them, Ninja. Right, bag and tag.